All right, guys, I am back with another video. So I want to start off by, uh, I'm going to show you all where the mappings are kept for all the abilities and stuff. Uh, so there was some confusion as far as uh, the enhanced input system. Where is Lyra storing uh, the keys? So if you come in here, you can go into options and mouse and key and you'll see it's storing these keys here. Let me just, so you can see, we can set these keys and it stores them. So how are they doing that? It's actually pretty simple. Uh, it's very confusing because when you're not familiar with all this stuff, especially C++, you won't know how they're doing this. Well, I tracked it down, and I don't know a lot about C++, but I know enough to get, a, to get by. And basically, they have a Lyra settings local.h file, the header file, and this is... Uh, it, it inherits the functionality of the game user settings. So if you're familiar with game user settings, it's what you can use to retrieve uh, the current visual uh, quality settings uh, for the game. And you can change those and then you can apply those and it'll save that to a file called game user uh, settings .ini. So if we come over here into the file, you'll see that under the Lyra starter game, saved config windows editor, there's a game user settings file. And you'll see that there's this thing called custom keyboard config, and it holds a map, which takes in a name and a key on here. So basically what they're doing is on their, custom version of the game user settings that they're using in here down at the very bottom they've created this uh, map that holds a name and a key and it's called custom keyboard config and over here on their uh, C++ file uh, whenever uh, whenever an input is added whenever they change the binding of a key that goes down this chain and ends up here where it adds or updates custom keyboard bindings for this custom keyboard config and it'll add well it doesn't add that there but it adds it right here uh well it sets it right here but it adds it up here or right here i guess yeah so anyway uh, that's how that's that's happening. So that's they're actually just saving it onto the game user settings file. Uh, as far as changing it, uh, most people are probably aware of this already. That under content input mappings, you can open up the uh, input mapping context file, and you can change these keys here for each of these abilities. Uh, but there are also, if you go into the plugins folder and go into shooter core and input you'll find more mappings, another input mapping context for the shooter game. This is for the scoreboard, the input action ADS for aim down sight, the grenade, emote, quick slots as well, and the cycle back and forth, and as well as the shooter game. And also they have one for the aim down sight speed functionality. Uh, and you can explore that more if you would like. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would do a video on that. Y'all might be seeing more videos like this in the future. And that's the rundown. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. If you liked this, make sure to like down below and consider subscribing.